They're using a cell tower. Fox Radio's Jared Alpern. California utility officials want to penalize Pacific Gas and Electric $1.6 billion for a 2010 natural gas explosion. It killed eight people near San Francisco. Fox News. We report. You decide. At Golfsmith, we're not just about helping you get the lowest score. We also guarantee the lowest prices. It's part of the Golfsmith Fairway. We carry all the hottest gear in golf from the biggest brands. And we promise that if you find a lower price on the same gear from an authorized dealer within 30 days, we'll match it. No questions asked. For more information, head to a Golfsmith store near you or check us out online at golfsmith.com slash fairway. The Golfsmith Fairway. Anything for golf. It'll be home to 942 bursts of laughter, a 16-pound blackened turkey dinner, and the loudest burp on record. It will see its fair share of broken windows, broken bones, and broken hearts. But first, you have to find it. Start your home search at Zillow.com or on our family of apps. You can view millions of photos, browse historical pricing data, and even sign up for alerts when new homes hit the market. Zillow. Find your way home. On the next day on Ocala Live, Ocala is celebrating movies, and we've got a filmmaker. His name is Soman Chayinani. His films have played over 150 international film festivals, and he's won over 30 awards for his films, and he's written a book. It's called A World Without Princes. The movie will be produced by Universal Pictures. News Bites, the hottest news in current events, sir. Bites eyes. Jim George will be in the studio. We know him as Professor Gadget. He's the owner of American Cable Services, and he'll be talking to us about technology. Nina C. Payne is a yoga instructor and a poet. She's written a book called Moments in Time. When one heart opens, two hearts collide. And then Kelly Hart bringing you Ocala Magazine Radio. John Goodwin is the president of Galaxy Press. His topic will be the 2015 Illustrator and Writers of the Future Awards. And then Dr. Rita Eichenstein is coming on, a renowned psychologist speaking about help and hope for parents of atypical children. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala on a Thursday afternoon. It's the Masters Thursday. And, you know, with this day and age of smartphones and tablets and computers and everything, all you got to do is go to masters.com and then download the app for your tablet like I have. And I got the Masters playing right off to my right on my desk right here by the studio. I got the Masters playing on my tablet. I can still use the computer. You know, technology is a wonderful thing. You don't have to miss a minute of the Masters. I'm watching feature group number one on their website. Right now, your leaders, Charlie Hoffman, Justin Rose, tied with 67s to lead the tournament, five under. So, um, you know, it is Masters week. It's the greatest week in sports, in my opinion. You'll hear more about that on Southern Pigskin tonight, coming up in hour number three. Buddy Martin joins us in hour number two, live from Cindy's Front Porch, right in the heart of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. And in honor of the Silver Springs International Film Festival, I looked up the top 50 movie cars of all time. This is according to Yahoo Auto. 
I don't remember this TV mo- made for TV movie, but it's called The California Kid, and they had a 1934 Ford Coupe in that movie. Number that was 50th on the list. Number 49 on the list, the 1950 Mercury used by Stallone in Cobra. Number 48, the 1958 Plymouth Fury used as the title character in Stephen King's Christine. Number 47 is the 1971 Ford LTD for White Lightning. It was, you know, it was uh, Smokey and the Bandit before Smokey and the Bandit, White Lightning, that movie. Number 46, Hollywood Nights had the 1957 Chevrolet. Number 45, Thunder Road had the 1950 Ford, Robert Mitchum's moonshine car. The Blues Brothers, they drove a 1974 Dodge Monaco. That came in at 44. 43 is the 1972 Ferrari Daytona Spider. Uh, the, the Gumball Rally, 1966 Shelby Cobra 427. They used two Cobras actually in that movie. The Godfather had the 1941 Lincoln Continental. That's the one Sonny Corleone got shot um, in, in front of in The Godfather. The 1949 Buick Roadmaster in Rain Man is 40 on the list. I don't know about this. 30, the 39th on the list is the 2003 Mini Coopers used in the Italian job. I don't know if they're better than that Lincoln Continental using The Godfather. Number 38 on the list is also the Mini Coopers from the Italian job. The Italian job, the 1967 Lamborghini uh, that was used in the Italian job. Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, the 1969 Dodge Charger. That was a great movie. Uh, I was a kid, eight years old, when it came out. The Living Daylights, the 1987 Aston Martin V8 Vintage. Uh, It was... uh, Winterized by Q into a hard top. It featured missile skis and a rocket engine in the Bond film. Casino Royale had the 2007 Aston Martin. That was the new version of Casino Royale. Bad Boys 2, that Ferrari they drove in Bad Boys 2 was nice. 2002 Ferrari. Number 32 on the list, a classic, folks. The 1983 GMC van that B.A. Baracus drove on the A-Team. That was a good van. Tokyo Drift, the 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo from Fast and Furious. Tokyo Drift comes in at number 31. Number 30 is Fast and Furious uh, uh, Tokyo Drift, the 1995 Mazda RX-7. Number 29 is the Transporter 2, the 2005 Audi that Jason Statham drove in that movie. Number 28 was the Le Mans. Le Mans was the name of the movie, the 1970 Porsche 911 S at Steve McQueen's Racing Epic. Corvette Summer had the 1973 Stingray, Mark Hamill in that movie. Vanishing Point had the 1970 Dodge Charger. Number 25 on the list came in Tommy Boy, the 1967 Plymouth GTX convertible that they absolutely destroyed in that movie made you sick oh it was so good 24 was gone in 60 seconds the 1973 ford mustang mach 1 that was a nice mustang the mach 1 and 23 was the 1955 chevrolet 210 that was in it was harrison ford drove it it was in american graffiti 1973 he would drive up and down the boulevard. Number 22 on the list was also from the movie Le Mans, the 1970 Ferrari, the race car that Steve McQueen drove. The Le Mans, the 1970 Porsche that was in that movie, a race car that he raced against, makes 21 on the list. Number 20 on the list, the Cannonball Run, 1980, the Lamborghini LP400. That's the one Adrian Barbeau and Tara Buckman drove, the two hot women that were driving the car and thought they could always just, you know, show a little skin and the cops would let them out of a ticket. Now, this is one of my personal favorites. 19 comes in the list at 19. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the 61 Ferrari that they kick out the glass window off the back of the house and destroy. Herbie the Love Bug checks in at 19, at 18 with the 1962 Volkswagen Beetle, Herbie. 17 is the 1955 Lincoln Futura Batmobile from the 66 to 68 TV series. 16 is the movie Ronin, 
the 1998 Audi S8 they used. Number 15 is from the movie Bullet, which has quite possibly got one of the best car chases known to man. They used a 1968 Dodge Charger. Number 14 on the list, the Fast and the Furious 1993 Toyota Super, Tur- Super Turbo. That's the one that he races against the Charger. Uh, Paul, Paul um, Walker races against the Charger. Number 13 is the Fast and the Furious, the Dodge Charger I was talking about. Uh, it, it, Vin Diesel was scared to drive it in the first movie. It was so intimidating. Transporter, the original one, the 1999 BMW 735 IL that Jason Statham drives in Transporter. Number 11 on the list, Tulane Blacktop, the 1955 Chevrolet 210 in that movie. And then we come to the top 10. The top 10, Nightcrawler, a 2014 movie. I've yet to see this movie, but they showcased the 2014 Dodge Challenger. Hard to believe a 2014 car could get into the top 10. Number nine on the list. How is this not number one on the list, folks? The General Lee from the Dukes of Hazzards, the 1969 Dodge Charger, more than 300 Chargers portrayed the General Lee during the series, 145 episodes. It's the ultimate star car. Mad Max had the 1973 Ford XB Falcon. I remember that from the Mad Max movies. Number seven on the list is the Dodge Charger Daytona, Dom's nicest Charger yet. It was from Fast and Furious 6, and it really was a nice Dodge Charger Daytona. Gone in 60 seconds, the 67 Shelby GT500 that uh, Nicolas Cage had to get. Bullet, the 1968 Ford Mustang GT390. Steve McQueen drove in that movie. was a fabulous car, top five. That's the top five. The 1932 Ford Coupe. Um, it was a 1932 five-window Ford. It was in the movie American Graffiti. Number three on the list, the 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. 77 second most popular film, Smokey and the Bandit, but you couldn't buy a Millennium Falcon at Pontiac dealers. They had plenty of Trans Ams. So even though Star Wars was the best movie, there was plenty of Smokey and the Bandit Trans Ams in, that you could buy in 1977. Number two on the list, the Lotus Spirit. It was from the spy who loved me. It turned into a submarine. Remember that? Submarine. Number one on the list, and this one, it should be, because it is the original car that was just cool. The 1964 movie had this car fitted by Q. This Aston Martin is a standard against which all spy, movie, and TV cars are judged. Last year, it sold at auction for $4.6 million. It is the Aston Martin DB5, the 1963 Aston Martin DB5, that Sean Connery as James Bond drove in Goldfinger. So there are your top 50 cars, according to Yahoo Auto and Travel. All-time 50 top all-time movie cars some of my some of my agree with the general lead to me is way down to it should be up in the top three the general lead but i grew up in the south so of course the general lead should be in the top three but to me the general lead should definitely be in the top three but you know number one you can't argue with the goldfinger the 1963 aston martin db5 from goldfinger it did set the standard for spy vehicles and race cars. And a lot, I was glad to see a lot of the cars from Bullet made it because Bullet is the quintessential uh, chase scene ever in Hollywood. It's still considered one of the best chase scenes in Hollywood history. Coming up at hour number two, Buddy Martin joins us live from Cindy's Front Porch at Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood right in the middle of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. A lot going on downtown today for the film festival. We're going to take a break. When we come back, there's a movement to change the $20 bill. I'll tell you what that's about next on The Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? 
Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige, it's all there in our name. The next drink is on Dave Del Rio at Eaton Beach Sad Barn Grill. Just ask him for it. But don't wait. Show up soon because this offer isn't going to last very long. Eaton Speed Sandbar and Grill will be filling up fast because their friends from the north are headed back that way soon. The good news is that seating is now available and Dave's buying the first drink. If you've been hearing about the crowd at Eaton Speed Sandbar and Grill and couldn't get in, now you can see firsthand what your friends have been talking about. Great food. Try Chef Dave's tantalizing Floriciana menu. Great location. Check out those gorgeous sunsets over Lake Weir. Great people. Starting with Chef Dave Del Rio, who began his career in 1978. This spicy guy has been instrumental in opening over 100 restaurants. And he's buying you a drink. Eat and Speed Sandbar and Grill, where there's little or no waiting these days. Come see what started out as Jay Eaton's dream almost 90 years ago. It's more awesome than ever. If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics. Do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, the source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Chip, you never cease to amaze me. What in the world are you building with all those sticks and cardboard? Well, Mr. Marketing Guy, I'm making signs to announce the great lease offers at Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue. Really? What do you plan on calling it? Sign and ride. Get it? That's not how it works. Sign and ride is all about fantastic lease offers on Fusions, Escapes, Fiestas, Explorers, and remaining 2014 focuses. Wait a minute. If I understand correctly, sign and ride would mean zero down payment? Right. Zero first month's payment. Right again. And zero do it signing? Now you're on the right track. Don't waste time. Head to Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue today and see how easy it can be to drive off in America's favorite brand. And if you're planning to buy a new Ford, 0% financing for 72 months on select new 2015 Fords. Whether you buy or lease, now's the best time to head to Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue, your family of Ford dealerships where we've got what it takes. Not all buyers or models qualify for sign and ride offer or 0% financing. See dealer for complete details. Ref.
wrap it up hour number one on the voice of Ocala. Buddy Martin to join us in hour number two live from right in the middle of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood on Cindy's front porch. I told you I would tell you about a movement to change a $20 bill. There could be a new face on the $20 bill soon if the nonprofit campaign Women's on, Women on 20 has their way. Women on 20s have allowed voters to choose four or 15 women candidates for the $20 bill, and now it's down to fin- the final four. The candidates are Eleanor Roosevelt, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, and Wilbur Mankiller. In the past 48 hours since the final round started, they've had 60,000 people cast votes. Though all these women are many more deserve to be honored, according to Susan Adstone, who is the spokesman for the uh, Women's on 20 nonprofit. The winner will be a symbol of what we hope that are greater things to come. Eleanor Roosevelt was the first U.S. president's wife to take an activist role and present her cause directly to the people through her own press conferences, syndicated columns, radio broadcasts. Harriet Tubman, as we all know, returned to the South an estimated 19 times to leave slaves to freedom to the North via the Underground Railroad. Rosa Parks became known as the mother of the freedom movement after refusing to give up the back, move to the back of the bus for a white passenger in Montgomery in 1955. And Wilma Mankiller was the first elected female chief of a native nation in modern times. So that's the final four. And after the voting period ends, the end date is yet to be decided. The Women on the 20s campaign will ask President Obama to start the process of getting the winning woman on the $20 bill. The group is hoping to have the bill approved by the year 2020, which marks the centennial of the passage of the 19th Amendment that granted women the right to vote. So there is a movement out there to put women on the 20, a woman on the $20 bill. And I I like the little competition and all, but you're not gonna move a president off the $20 bill to put a woman on it no matter what her place in history, in my opinion. And I know they could make a special $20 bill just for the year to commemorate the, 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 the 100th year of women's suffrage and the right to vote, and I'm, I understand that. But we're talking about the late leader of the free world. There's pictures on there. The head of our our government you would have to move Andrew Jackson off the 20. A man who has foundation in the building of this country. And yes, I know these women helped build in the 20th century. Harriet Tubman helped in the late 19, in the middle 19th century for, leave slaves to freedom. I understand the history of all this. None of it, in my opinion, usurps the history of the President of the United States. And I get that, you know, these women are very important, very influential. They're not a president of the United States. That's who's on our legal tender and, in my opinion, should remain there. Coming up next, Buddy Martin joins us live from Cindy's Front Porch, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood, right in the middle of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. Day number two of the film festival. We'll check in. Buddy Martin will lead us into... What's going on this tonight at the film festival? And in hour number three, Southern Pigskin tonight. He's back. All that coming up today on The Voice of Ocala right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. 
Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Angie Lewis. Come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district, 416 East Fort King Street, or call 291-2444. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hirschberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader and custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners of her State Farm Good Neighbor Award, she shopped first at BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Check them out at 1735 Northeast Jacksonville Road on North Magnolia's Miracle Mile or call them today at 352-732-2249. BJ Trophies Awards and Gifts. Trophies is just our middle name. Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. Chip, you never cease to amaze me. What in the world are you building with all those sticks and cardboard? Well, Mr. Marketing Guy, I'm making signs to announce the great lease offers at Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue. Really? What do you plan on calling it? Sign and ride. Get it? That's not how it works. Sign and ride is all about fantastic lease offers on Fusions, Escapes, Fiestas, Explorers, and remaining 2014 focuses. Wait a minute. If I understand correctly, sign and ride would mean zero down payment? Right. Zero first month's payment. Right again. And zero do it signing? Now you're on the right track. Don't waste time. Head to Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue today and see how easy it can be to drive off in America's favorite brand. And if you're planning to buy a new Ford, 0% financing for 72 months on select new 2015 Fords. Whether you buy or lease, now's the best time to head to Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue, your family of Ford dealerships where we've got what it takes. Not all buyers or models qualify for sign and ride offer or 0% financing. See dealer for complete details. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Fresh pressed juice blends made with uh, beets especially can build up on your teeth and as little as uh, one juice a day could stain your smile permanently. A contaminated stethoscope pressed against the skin of a healthy patient probably won't cause a problem. I love that. Thanks for the probably. If we indulge ourselves in a few extra hits of the snooze button or a long mid-afternoon nap, we're just creating a template for our brain to stay awake in the middle of the night. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler. It was a case of mistaken identity. He was late. Come up the house, I'm going to tease you, so I threw my hand up. And he still teased me. Mario Givens filed a complaint two years ago against the white South Carolina police officer who killed a black motorist Saturday, saying that man might still be alive had authorities taken his complaint seriously. President Obama meeting with Caribbean leaders in Jamaica. Uh, Today we're announcing 
new partnerships, including a new fund to mobilize private investment in clean energy projects in the Caribbean and in Central America. The president next heads to Panama for the Summit of the Americas. Sabra hummus, dip life to the fullest. Sabra recalling 30,000 cases of its classic hummus nationwide because of possible listeria contamination. Details at foxnewsradio.com. Fox News, we report, you decide. At Golfsmith, we're not just about helping you get the lowest score. We also guarantee the lowest prices. It's part of the Golfsmith Fairway. We carry all the hottest gear in golf from the biggest brands. And we promise that if you find a lower price on the same gear from an authorized dealer within 30 days, we'll match it. No questions asked. For more information, head to a Golfsmith store near you or check us out online at golfsmith.com slash fairway. The Golfsmith Fairway. Anything for golf. It'll be home to 942 bursts of laughter, a 16-pound blackened turkey dinner, and the loudest burp on record. It will see its fair share of broken windows, broken bones, and broken hearts. But first, you have to find it. Start your home search at Zillow.com or on our family of apps. You can view millions of photos, browse historical pricing data, and even sign up for alerts when new homes hit the market. Zillow. Find your way home. It's time again for Buddy Martin. Call him up and tell him what you're thinking. But be kind because he's doing the best he can. Hello, welcome to the Voice of Ocala. Power to the program live downtown on Sunday's front porch at Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. Right in the heart of the International Silver Springs International Film Festival, the director herself is looking on over us right now as we speak, Laurie Zink, who's been running around like a, I don't know what you call it, a water bug or what you call it, but she's been scooting around a lot, and we're glad because she was able to secure for us for the next couple of minutes two people who are very, very essential to what we're doing in the film festival here. If you didn't hear about it last night at the Cross Creek showing, it was a full house at Marion Theater. It was a great night, great party down at the brick. And festivities still going on. If you don't know anything about it, you need to get on right now and go to springsfilmfest.com. There's still tickets available for you. Meanwhile, I'm going to just take this time to talk to our special guest today. They're from all the way up in New York, the Manhattan Film Institute, Tony Spiridakis and Lisa Gilhooley. And welcome to both of you. Thanks for coming on at the last second. Thanks for having us. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm not sure if you've got their microphones on, if you can hear them or not, but I'm not hearing them too well on my end. So, uh, They're coming across loud and clear here, buddy. But, all right. That's good to know. Uh, let me just say to you, welcome both, and thank you for coming and helping us elevate this film festival another level, which, you know, Laurie's done a great job with. I want to get from you, though, your feelings, your thinking about this, because we want to know what you think about what you've seen now at this event for the last two years, and particularly this year, and what will you take back up to New York from the Manhattan Film Festival, the Manhattan Film Institute, and what will you say about it? Well, I think the passion that the town has for this festival speaks volumes. I think that the theater is just beautiful. Marion is just a gorgeous movie theater to host an event like this. But then you get to meet the people who are all volunteers who become the board of directors for something as big as a film festival, you can't do it without that kind of grassroots support. And everybody that Lisa and I have uh, talked to, they're just so behind this. It, it can't fail, you know, and it's going to do great things for the town. It's going to be wonderful for the businesses. I mean, we love shopping here, eating here, and spending time here. It's, it makes you feel like you're part of a place. And uh, for young filmmakers, it's the way that they get to see their work play before an audience. See, because a, a filmmaker is great, but if he doesn't have an audience to watch his film, it's not so great. It could be a lonely thing. You put it on the Internet, it could get lost. But when you actually bring it to a movie theater like Marion, and you have it in a town like this, and people show up and support the film festival, which... What Lori's done is amazing. I hope everybody comes out to see the films. That's what makes the filmmaker want to make another film, and that's what makes them successful over time. So it's a big cons- 
you know, you got to have a lot of people to make this thing work, and, and that's what we've seen here in Ocala. It's just beautiful. Sometimes, and, and Lisa can chip in on this too, sometimes when you're in it, you really don't know what you're in, and you don't have the appreciation of the global concept of what it is. So you tell us, and I'm not asking for compliments. I just want you to know, what do we have here, Lisa? Well, I think Tony hit on it with passion and energy, and we started a film institute up outside of New York City in a small town, and we, for the same reason, to bring a vibrancy to a community that, you know, really would benefit from that. And I think that every good film institute ha might have an educational component at some point, and we are a film institute that needs a festival. So we saw a lot of synergy in the work that we're doing, where we're doing it, with the work that's going on here. And I, I'm just super impressed with how quickly this festival came together and the amount of people and support is, is it really just makes you feel so great to be a part of it and you see the momentum building and continuing to build and I, I just congratulate everyone here on the job that's been done because we've been grassroots doing a similar yeah. effort up north and I think what you see what you get back is what you put into it you're going to have like the jump Lori knows the number but it literally more than doubled the number of filmmakers that came four, four times, times. 41 versus 11. So from year one, you got that many times more this year. That's what you have in front of you to look forward to. So imagine if you can increment. Well, there's six well, there. there by my math. Well, there you go. If you, and if you do that, then you're talking about having a vibrancy that Lisa was talking about everywhere. Yeah, and, and I know both of you are you're staying at the, the Seven Sisters Inn, right. right in the heart of the historic district, which along with the Marion Theater is near and dear to my heart and Getty's heart. We grew up in that neighborhood. We're pretty historic, Getty and I are. I think also taught us momentarily. So give us your thoughts about the historic district. In my mind, that's equally as impressive because you can do what you want to. You can go to the villages and all these great, full out, great houses. You can't duplicate that historic district anywhere. What's your experience like been so far at the Seven Sisters? We we have fallen in love from the moment we walked through the doorway there. It's a step back in time. And I have to say, we've been, we would probably not have visited Ocala had it not been for this wonderful festival. And, and all we've been, we went out to the springs today, but we've been all around town. The shop owners have been amazing. And we just, we're so inspired by this town and we want to come back. We just, all we keep saying is, when we come back, we have to do this or that. We, are here too short. We want you to come back. And I, the end, but I have to say something yeah. at the end to get back to that question. I mean, I I, I went to Cairo, <laughs> and then I went to Madrid. You know, they have <laughs> theme rooms. So I was in the Egypt room, and then I was in the Spain room, and I just thought I had to hear the whole story. And the guy who uh, operates it now and owns it, Bob, yeah. is just a gem, and he talk, took us through the whole story about how each room became a different country, and they've got art, art. Literally, they have like doors that were made in Spain to open up onto the Madrid room, and and th that makes it so special. So not only is it historic Ocala, but it's actually, uh, you know, like taking a world tour. And Little did you know, Tony, we're oh. coming to Ocala, and I went to Egypt. Spain and Egypt. Exactly, <laughs> I got both. <laughs> well, uh, sounds like a, I smell a potential partnership cooking here with the Film Institute and, and what we do and what you do. And you got a little theater up there and uh, what seems to be a little love and care. Maybe some of the folks from the Marion Theater will be able to come up and help you launch that baby too and get it going. That would One be final, I'm sorry, the yeah. artist demanding I say this right now before we're out of time. What you did at Westport today was fabulous. Talk about your experience. You and Lisa went to Westport High School. And we talked in front of the Mecca program, which is an arts uh, component like, uh, actors, musicians, TV, film, and I was so blown away by, they did monologues and scenes for me, They and we talked about what it's like to make it in Hollywood, what, they, what schools would be good for them to carry on after high school, but then they got to do monologues for me, and I have, I'm telling you, the work that's coming out of that school is so good, and I would love to do a Manhattan Film Institute 
here knowing that I've got that kind of a talent pool to draw from, it's it's absolutely amazing to me. I say let's make a film. That's what we yeah. do. So. <laughs> we, we, we love having you. We appreciate so much that you came, but really appreciate that you understand what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Laurie's work, the whole team at, at the group and the Marion Theater. So you're kind of our kindred spirits now. So we hope you'll come back often. We can't wait to have us there. Absolutely. See you at the theater one day and yeah. see what you've got going in the Madden field. Well, thank you so much. And and congrats to Greg yeah. and to yeah, Greg and Laurie. Yeah. Another great yeah. festival. I hope everybody supports them. Oh, we're getting great All support right. in, but people like you, it's great. To get better and thank you so much thank Tommy you Paradakis and uh, also Lisa Gilhilde from the Manhattan Film Institute appreciate you coming thank you thank so you. much all right. all right thanks very much uh, we will uh, hand them a headphone over to Teddy by the way Teddy Goss is responsible her family for keeping this downtown alive back in the day when there were just two stores left Goss and Sons was one of them right there and they stuck through all of it and one of the reasons that we're all still here are people like the Gosses so thanks to Teddy for all the stuff she does thank well thank you thank you thanks so much thanks a lot all right Tony thank you very much it's time to take a break Teddy you're just in time so thanks Lori we'll take a quick we'll take a break come back Teddy Goss joins us right here next on the Voice of Ocala downtown on City's front porch at Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood in Ocala Back after this time out on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risks. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with her clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. Hi, I'm State Farm agent Angie Lewis. Come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district, 416 East Fort King Street, or call 291-2444. If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton Speech Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton Speech Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Legware sunsets. Eaton Speech Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Legware. Seating now available. They say diamonds are always a girl's best friend. April is Diamond Month at Goss & Son Jewelers. Check out their Takori engagement and bridal sets and beautiful diamond anniversary band. Hand selected by the Goss family, Teddy and Jerry Goss and Cammie McLeod. You can choose these beautiful diamonds just for you or your loved one. Visit Goss & Son Jewelers downtown on the square and let the diamond consultants help you select a one-of-a-kind piece. Goss & Son, downtown for 65 years. Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. Each morning, we wake up thankful to live in a free nation with liberty and justice for all. But sometimes those liberties can be put in jeopardy, and you may have questions about what to do or who to call. Let Doc Blanchard of Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland help you find the answers. Attorneys at law since 1974 and located in downtown Ocala. If you have legal issues, don't go it alone. Call 352-732-7218. Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland, helping protect your liberties every day. 
On the next day on Ocala Live, Ocala is celebrating movies, and we've got a filmmaker. His name is Soman Chayinani. His films have played over 150 international film festivals, and he's won over 30 awards for his films, and he's written a book. It's called A World Without Princes. The movie will be produced by Universal Pictures. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. Jim George will be in the studio. We know him as Professor Gadget. He's the owner of American Cable Services, and he'll be talking to us about technology. Dina C. Payne is a yoga instructor and a poet. She's written a book called Moments in Time. When one heart opens, two hearts collide. And then Kelly Hart bringing you Ocala Magazine Radio. John Goodwin is the president of Galaxy Press. His topic will be the 2015 Illustrator and Writers of the Future Awards. And then Dr. Rita Eichenstein is coming on, a renowned psychologist speaking about help and hope for parents of atypical children. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Ocala Live right here on The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. Holidays and memories go hand in hand. Why not make this Easter even more memorable by serving a honey-baked ham and delicious sides and desserts? Yum! Yes, the coconut and lemon cream cakes are back. Enjoying the family, egg hunts, and just being able to relax without having to spend hours in the kitchen will make your day a memorable one. Hop on over to Honey Baked Ham. Call and place your holiday order today, 861-0011. That's 861-0011. Honey Baked Ham, behind Best Buy. back downtown Ocala on the day that we are in, actually day two now of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. Terrific night last night at the Marion Theater with a full house there. Um, and, and folks, I thought they would kind of peel off, you know, and, and yet only a few did. And I would say there's still quite a few people, over 100 left when, we, when the movie was over and really enjoyed Cross Creek. Teddy Goss joins us now. Teddy, have you ever seen the movie Cross Creek? Yes, it's awesome. Awesome, and Mary Jean Virgin was terrific, and I forgot how good the movie was. I know. I did, too. Yeah. I was really enjoyed going back yeah. and remembering what we yeah. saw when we were younger. Yeah, and I, I just, this kid came to me, and Johnny was, I said, we're going to leave early because we've seen the movie. Ah. She didn't leave early with Johnny. She wanted to see that whole yeah, movie. It pulls you in. It did pull you in. Right. You're a writer, especially, as you can imagine how writers feel. And then I didn't. I just started thinking about this. You know what they did in that movie? They took a part of the yearling, the book, and put that in the movie. Across exactly. Creek, the book Cross Creek. Right. The book Cross Creek was another story. So it was a good job in a more powerful story with, obviously, the little fawn. We won't talk about what happened because we don't want to spoil it. If you haven't seen the movie, I think it should be required viewing for people in this area. It took place right here in our backyard. Well, they can come over to the store because we've got it on DVD. You've got it on DVD. Well, that's We're good, showing it really? throughout the day. Terrific. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's yeah, great. We, we decided that that would entwine a lot of our clients. Yeah. We could talk it up and yeah. they'd get excited about it. Yeah, that's great. Well, they'll come down and could pick up a few diamonds while they're there. Right. If they want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good it is, idea. It is, but it is diamond month now. I know. Yeah. So, uh, and by the way, uh, you know, some of us have birthdays this month. And you're supposed to, like, get your birthstone, right? Right, yeah. So I, I almost didn't make it over here, though. I was selling a big diamond. You know what? That's one excuse to be okay. I know. I if just, you're selling I, a big diamond, I'll go over there and do the show. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm thinking about getting you to come over to do the show. We actually. can do that. We can do it. Got a chance to visit with you last week over there, and, and uh, Dr. Rogers was in the house. And exactly. Visited with him and chatted. I've never been to the back part of Goss. You've never been in no, there. I've been in the store. I'm shopped in the store. Oh, well, you've been in there, yeah. But I've never been back to the counter where you were. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. that was a good good time. Now, have you partaken in very much of the festival so far? We're getting so involved and so excited that we are meeting a lot of the people who are coming into the store. Mm -hmm. And, of course, their first question is, where are the eateries? Where the, what's going on? And, and we kind of direct them and get them enthused. And they're all really excited. Mm -hmm. So I got my official shirt now. I didn't get mine this year. There's my official sprint. But, but oh, you got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, that's really nice. I don't, I don't have my sign up. I never had time to put my sign up. I do have one down on the back on the end. It says, Welcome to Ocala, home of the Silver Springs International Film Festival. Buddy, you're I'm the only one I know that can <laughs> park your car and still running. And then it's run for a half hour, yeah. I forgot <laughs> it was there. So I was too busy. Thank goodness Ken down here. Came to our rescue and helped me get set up, so we got that all that done. So, 
I see Angie, Angie Lewis on her way around the car. Right. Tell me what you're going to do the rest of the week here. And uh, Well, we've got a couple of things going on in the store, a drawing for a um, big basket full of goodies for... What's in the goodies? It's all kinds of fun things for people that come in and register. Okay. We're having a drawing, and whoever, we pull their name out of the hat for the four days. They're the winner of a couple of things and passes and a gift certificate, so... Well, if you're coming through to see the film festival, come on by. It costs you nothing. That's what we're doing. And you and, and sign up, and you might see something you like while you're in the store. Right, right. Could we find somebody to wait on them, you think, if somebody want to buy something? I have got so many girls <laughs> geared up for this. You won't believe they're so yeah. excited to see action yeah. downtown with yeah. all the committee. has done a fantastic job, Angie and yeah. Lori and yeah. you and Gerald. I and nothing, working. Gerald and all those guys did all the work, but... Uh, this lady right here had a key part in it, as you know, downtown. Right, And right. very helpful. Put your headset on, Angie. And, uh, I, I want to just say, now, will you, what will you, Kenny, what would you do the rest of the week personally? Will you become to any of the I'll be going to as many of the features and uh, the parties that are available because it's really great to see the enthusiasm and a Palinesis kind of enthusiasm. It's like a spark plug to us yeah. downtown. and. Y'all should be commended for creating this the second year. Well, it's going to just get bigger and better. Yeah, I mean, we're excited about it. Like we said, we had, we, we had quadruple the number of films this year. And by our math, that means we'll have 160 next year. There you go. <laughs> we'll, we'll be adding on more days. Exactly. That's fabulous. That, and y'all will help us get the hotel downtown because they'll need oh, more rooms. Oh, we need that for sure. We definitely need to have that uh, in our lifetime. I, my goal is to spend a, a, a couple of nights in a downtown hotel. That's on my bucket list, so some things I'd like to do. One right, day. yeah. Well, yeah. Jerry and I have actually gone to the Seven Sisters Inn. I've been there. I've seen the night. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. fun to walk up and down Fort yeah. King and experience that yeah. because so many people talk about things they do in Ocala but don't really do them. Um, so that was a unique well, That's experience. your old neighborhood. You're a couple blocks where you grew up right there. Right, so, right. Um, we get yeah. several of the guests that are um, from New York and um, that are staying yeah. at Seven Sisters. We just had them on the oh, well, Yeah, we just talked about how wonderful it was in the historic district again. See, I want to see the same level of enthusiasm for the historic district again as we get now for the Marion Theater and the Film Festival. They all kind of tie together. Don't they? I so think that's what we need to do is to figure out a way we can tie together, blend yeah. together like a recipe. Yeah. And this one here, she moved into the historic district. I so. know. It's so beautiful. She and Claire are the, sort of the poster couple for the historic <laughs> district, so, in my opinion. <laughs> that's and, uh, true. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll have so. I mean, with the, the when the Sprint Building with um, Sandy's project gets finished, that'll yeah. be so nice. That'll they are awesome. It has come a long way. Have you walk, Have you been by there lately, uh, just, buddy? Not in the last couple of weeks. I'm going to go soon. I'm I'm gonna gonna go go gosh. I said, maybe we should buy one. Yeah, there you go. Because there's probably going to be a waiting list. Well, there is. Already, I understand. I could be speaking out of school, but Sandy right. I heard, is not taking any more requests. I don't know that. Sandy, I if I heard that. your business, I apologize. <laughs> that's the word on the street to me. They're saying that he doesn't have any more for sale. Well, that says something, doesn't it? It yeah. does. You know, yeah. a building that's not even, I mean, nobody even knows what it's going to look like for yeah. sure inside. Yeah. I mean, they're seeing renderings and stuff, but exactly. to purchase something, you know, that, that's awesome. Speaking of saying something, can I brag this for a second here? Not on myself, but on the people. Talking last night to Rick Allen of the Star Banner about this, just sitting here thinking in the chair at the brick last night that that day in Ocala, that grim day when the city council voted four to one to close the Marion Theater. Oh, yeah. And I thought to myself, what if they would have closed it? We'd have missed all out on all That's of so this. That's true. And the other thing is that I'm so proud of the people like Angie and others. I can't name it, of course, Gerald and, and, and Tom Ingram Tom and a whole Ingram, bunch of the people were involved in it. it, it I, I, we, we could go on naming them because I'll tell you what, five of the board members are on this film film festival. You're right. So I'm proud of that because That's true. their passion is what helped fuel this film festival. You're I'm not right. taking any credit from Greg or Laurie. They did a great job and could not have been done without them. But what, Angie, would you say the enthusiasm for that Save the Marion group fused and you've had such a big role in this? That I think I'm glad we all work together. You know, and it's all started with somebody saying, hey, Let's get this fixed and get it taken care of. You know? I think, I think that was that was a couple of you guys, yeah. Uh, you've done, you were a big cheerleader in that. I, I was a cheerleader. I did some of it, but there were so many other people. Let me just say one thing. Get the record. I'm not being modest. Had it not been for Kent Gwynn, he was the one in the 4-1, to one, by the way, who voted to keep it open. Yeah. You know, and, and Gerald Erdl, who constantly promoted downtown. 
kept dragging me to Starbucks six, seven years ago. Come on down, let's talk, whatever. And that's been for those two guys standing up and you, people like the Gosses. Right. Who kept the fires burning when nobody else was downtown. Mm-hmm. Had it not been for them, none of this would happen. So let's make sure we give everybody the credit. Absolutely. We, we stand on the shoulders of a lot of people to get here, but we have an obligation in this town, we do, to keep this thing going because of what people did before us. That's how I feel about it. I agree. Well, okay. our businesses depend on, and our employees depend on, a lot of things happening downtown and their livelihoods. So a lot of times we forget the simple things in life. We've created jobs for people, and Angie can agree. It, it means a lot to be able to say that tradition in Ocala is important, and enthusiasm is even more important. Yeah. Exciting times ahead, especially the last couple of days. Angie, what did you take away last night from the event? You stayed late. You went. You saw the whole film? I stayed very – yeah, I stayed late. Um, I love the film. I thought it was just so beautiful. It, you know what? I, I think I – I posted right after that. It was just like I fell in love with where I live all over again because um, just uh, you know back in where they were at. Just, I, last weekend on Sunday, I think I shared with you, we Clint and I kayaked down Silver um, Springs, um, Silver, River. Silver River, and and it reminded me. You know, I was like, oh, this is like what we were experiencing last weekend. Just how beautiful it is here. Sometimes you take that for granted, and um, I, one of the reasons why we moved here. It's just, I love it. She's a sister native, Teddy. Yeah, for us. I know. We are yeah. natives. She's a sister native because she's got her spirit and her soul lives right here. And she came to Ocala and immediately knew this was her home. And then, and, and what, like what we talked about with that movie, I'm so glad I saw it. You know, Marjorie um, Kenan Rollins, what, what an incredible lady. You know, so her, her story. And then um, to have Mary Steenburgen, who was just beautiful playing that role. Um, Peter Coyote. I mean, it was just, I loved it. We, uh, I said last night, <clears throat> again today, I had forgotten how much I loved that movie the first yeah. time I saw it. And last night, I was drawn, Teddy said that we got drawn back in again mm-hmm. to this whole powerful st- uh, story of this really, really powerful lady and what she did there at Cross Creek. A model, for my mind, for young women. They you want to know what it would be like to be tough? See that movie and be like Marjorie Kenneth Roll. Absolutely. She wanted something and then went after it. She did her own. Just like I'm Maybe not quite happened. so much moonshine. But other than that. <laughs> 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 All right, Teddy, thanks for coming by again. I appreciate it. And I hope you still have tons of joy this week. And if not, just go by and say hello, Teddy. Yes, just come, come in by and say hello. And we'll get, be... get a cookie or whatever and get good as a drawing, whatever. So good to have you, Teddy. Well, thank and you, Teddy. Appreciate it very much. We're live downtown, and guess who's with us? Andy Lewis, Andy Lewis State Farm Agency is here. She got a guest. We got more to come right here on the Voice of Ocala. Stay tuned. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. They say diamonds are always a girl's best friend. April's Diamond Month at Goss & Son Jewelers. Check out their Takori engagement and bridal sets and beautiful diamond anniversary band. Hand-selected by the Goss family, Teddy and Jerry Goss and Cammie McLeod, you can choose these beautiful diamonds just for you or your loved one. Visit Goss & Son Jewelers downtown on the square and let the diamond consultants help you select a -a one-of-a-kind piece. Goss & Son, downtown for 65 years. Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. 
Hi, I'm State Farm Agent Angie Lewis. Come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district, 416 East Fort King Street, or call 291-2444. News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler. It was a case of mistaken identity. He was like, come with the host, so I'm going to tease you. So I threw my hand up, and he still teased me. Mario Givens filed a complaint two years ago against the white South Carolina police officer who killed a black motorist Saturday, saying that man might still be alive had authorities taken his complaint seriously. President Obama meeting with Caribbean leaders in Jamaica. Uh, today we're announcing new partnerships, including a new fund to mobilize private investment in clean energy projects in the Caribbean and in Central America. The president next heads to Panama for the summit of the Americas. Sabra hummus, dip life to the fullest. Sabra recalling 30,000 cases of its classic hummus nationwide because of possible listeria contamination. Details at foxnewsradio.com. Fox News, we report, you decide. At Golfsmith, we're not just about helping you get the lowest score. We also guarantee the lowest prices. It's part of the Golfsmith Fairway. We carry all the hottest gear in golf from the biggest brands. And we promise that if you find a lower price on the same gear from an authorized dealer within 30 days, we'll match it. No questions asked. For more information, head to a Golfsmith store near you or check us out online at golfsmith.com slash fairway. The Golfsmith Fairway. Anything for golf. It'll be home to 942 bursts of laughter, a 16-pound blackened turkey dinner, and the loudest burp on record. It will see its fair share of broken windows, broken bones, and broken hearts. But first, you have to find it. Start your home search at Zillow.com or on our family of apps. You can view millions of photos, browse historical pricing data, and even sign up for alerts when new homes hit the market. Zillow. Find your way home. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Here's a way for you to have some fun and at the same time support Team WOCA The Source in our efforts to raise funds for the Marion County Literacy Council. You can have Robin and I come to your event or somebody else's event. I play accordion, she plays mandolin, and we'll give the oompa surprise to somebody who may not be expecting it. So call us at 732-8000-ASK-THE-ROBIN. 100% of your donation of any amount will go to the Marion County Literacy Council and it is tax deductible. Call today, 732-8000. Join a tradition of artistic excellence by submitting an artist application for the 34th Annual Downtown Festival and Art Show. The Arts Festival will be held November 14th and 15th in historic downtown Gainesville. This is a great opportunity to display and sell your art to more than 100,000 visitors. Applications for the Downtown Festival and Art Show are available upon request at 352-393-8536 or online at gvlculturalaffairs.org. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for Auto Repair with Personal Care here on The Source. Of course you do. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala. Quick Masters update. Ernie Els just eagled 15 to go six under par to be your leader. Charlie Hoffman, Justin Rose, both shot 67 at five under. They're in the clubhouse. Jordan Spieth also tied for second at five under through 11 holes. 
he is uh, he he's playing the twelfth hole now. So your Masters update: Ernie Els in the lead, six under par. Hoffman, Rose, and Spieth all one stroke back. Now let's go back out and join Buddy Martin live from Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood on Cindy's front porch. Buddy Martin, there's your Masters leaderboard. All right, thank you, Tom. Also, I've asked him. I look, Phil Mickelson was three under. I don't know if he's still there or not. We'll check on that. We'll have more details later. Don't forget tonight. Five o'clock. It's the Southern Pigskin Radio Network. It's uh, Southern Pigskin with, with Terry Bradshaw. He's back, so don't miss that. Meanwhile, we're live here on Sunday's front porch. Andy, for you other your special guests. Uh, I know we've talked a lot about the film festival. For those who really don't understand what we're talking about yet, for those who might are just tuning in, saying, "What are they talking about?" <laughs> the film festival. Why don't you explain in lay person's term what this is? What's going on? How people can get in touch or get involved if they want to know for people hearing the first time? Well, um, I mean, the best thing to do, and we've talked about this, is if you go online, the springfilmfest.com, it's got um, really tells you about the film festival and the types of films and things that are showing. Um, I would come down. I would I would make a trip downtown, go to dinner, and um, go down, go over to the Brick City, or we'll go into the theater and talk to some people. Our, our filmmakers are here, and just ask them some questions about it. Um, but I love our little slogan that we have this year. I mean, most people know what Sundance. You know, they know Sundance Film Festival, and we're basically um, we're like we're like a Sundance film. I mean, we wear Sundance only sunnier is what we've been saying. Um, you know, we've got these films that have been submitted to us from um, all over the world and filmmakers who have traveled from everywhere to get here to, uh, and they, basically that what they're doing is they're just, they're trying to become major players in the film industry and so they, they want people to see their films and give them feedback and they're trying to get picked up by um, movie distributors. That's just what happened with John Travolta's film that's coming out, The Forger. It was it was seen at a film festival and now it's going to the, the major film. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Does that help? <laughs> well, well uh, Tom, Tom Schmitz had uh, Alex Boyd, uh, the young more yes. actor, Boyd, the young filmmaker who won last year. Yes. Right? On earlier, he's got uh, he's got his film showing. It's is it called? It's about nothing. Is that what it's called? Yeah, and it's actually I am I haven't seen it yet. Of course, but some people who got to kind of preview some of the films, you know, as they were it's getting things good. ready, said it's it's good. Yeah. yeah. And then tonight we've got um, from seven to nine is our Marion County student shorts. So um, I love that, that we're going to be highlighting, you know, locals. locals. Um, and I, I talked to Ty Chikazola, and I know we've got some, some people from the city council and city um, execs coming to, to that. So I love that people are coming out to support that part of it as well. So, you know, just even, you know, just come experience some of those yeah. would, be, would be fabulous. Ten, you know, $10 for a movie block. Yeah. And that, that's going to get you um, two hours of, of time, you know, of seeing either short films or fully. And last night, we, we were best not mentioning Mark Emery's film. Oh, my Water gosh. Fantastic shot. He's so amazing. He is amazing. And, of course, uh, he was duly introduced to the group last night. And wasn't it fun to see the group at the Marion? It, it was. Just so excitement. And they applauded the film when it was over. Yes. Yeah. You don't hear that very often. No, you don't. You don't. And everyone everyone enjoyed it. I mean, the, the event down at the brick was fun, and then heading over to the theater, and it was, you know, and the sound is amazing right yeah. now. Dolby sound. Dolby sound, so that was good. But, no, so we've got stuff going until 11 o'clock tonight yeah. in the theater, and then it starts again tomorrow at 11. All weekend long. All yeah. weekend. Go to springsfilmfest.com, yeah. check it out, and there's plenty for you to do. If nothing else, Come walk downtown and see all what's going on. Yeah, because we've, all of our merchants, too, are doing special things. You know, we've got Pie, Marks, the Cork, you know, Corkscrew Winery, Marketplace, you know, Hello Gorgeous, Mavericks. You know, right, how old are you? Oh, sorry, I thought you were saying hi to me. <laughs> oh. So, anyway, so that's, that's the other thing is, you know, come down and spend some time with our, our downtown merchants, yeah, which is great. Yeah, well, tomorrow night's a Friday Iron Walk, so. Oh, you got a special guest today. I do. I met him because he helped me already and helped me set up. He's that kind of guy. An hour of need, he showed up. So I'll let you have the pleasure of introducing Ken and tell us about him and, and let's learn about Ken. Well, I will. Welcome to the show, Ken. Ken Dyke. Um, Good to be here. We're happy to have you. I, I actually met Ken through my husband, Clint. They both um, volunteer um, at the Women's Pregnancy Center together. And so, as as mentors over there, so is that cool? Uh, it's a two guys. great organization. You said two guys now. People yes. understand at volunteering at the Women's Rights Center. I, I guess that's fairly common anymore. 
but not so much or in my era to have two men involved in something like this. Well, and I'll let Ken, if you'd like to, you can tell us a little bit about what you do. Sure. What we do is a little different than the general daytime activity at the center. We actually um, work with young couples and, and do a parenting class, a new parenting class, as these young couples are faced with this uh, pregnancy and faced with what's going on in their life. We kind of help stabilize them a little bit and, and just encourage them to be the best mom and dad they can be. And uh, Clint and I work primarily with the guys, but uh, we, we do work with the couples in the class. We usually have a class together for about an hour, and then we break out and let the girls talk, and we try to get the guys to talk. What are the things that they want to know about the most? These are mostly young mothers, many of them single, you know, obviously, uh -huh. not knowing what they face and not wanting to, they're going to have to raise their own their own child, unexpected in, in their life. What, what do they want to know most about? There's a lot of, lot of themes that we do. Tonight's class actually is what we call the happiest baby on the block, so it's calming techniques for a baby that's crying. So there's this man that's uh, done some things on that, a guy named Harvey Karp that uh, has done some studies on that and done some research on it and worked with parents for 20 plus years and he just gets on and shows how to take a baby and in three seconds that baby's calm. Of course okay. he's done it for 20 years. <laughs> some, of the, some of the things, buddy, I, I've mentioned when I've um, been at the, at the Women's Pregnancy Center with these guys, I've mentioned to the people who come, it's, it's it, you, it's not just for singles. It's that you know we have. A, there's a lot of married couples. It's just first. Time, it's just first time parents, and now they have the the not only first time you can um, second child. second child as well. But you know, I, I think about Clint. And I didn't have anything like that. You know, it was, it's almost like a support group, and they they talk a little bit too about communication and, and and being a part a good partner and helping mm -hmm. each other and talking through things and. So a lot of the stuff, you know, like we used to talk about, remember? Yeah, the fathers are a lot more involved now in the raising of children than they were when I had children. And it's so important. It yeah. makes a huge difference. So it's so important. I mean, clean, turn, change those dirty diapers. Yeah. You don't have to change them <laughs> more because they're all Clint paper diapers. Was, Clint was fabulous. He would step into anything. I bet he was. Anything. I bet he so, was. Yeah. That's kind of fabulous whatever he you is. need. He is. He's, you, he's, he's a go-to guy, isn't he? He's a good guy. Yeah, oh, he definitely. Is. Now, do we have something here in the box? We, have we do. Room? And I actually, the reason why I asked Angie, you. I have one already. I know. No, not you today. Huh? But, not me? Um, something that Ken does, you know, Buddy Buddy and I, uh, gosh, we've been doing this how long now? Three years. Three years. And um, something that we like to recognize in the community are people who do random acts of kindness, um, and it's not they're not doing it to grow their business or to make a name for themselves or whatever, but um, Ken, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about, because you do that, and I don't know if you realize the impact that you have on people by the cards that you send out. You know, in a time when people are so into emails and texting and stuff, that the fact that you take time to handwrite, it's not just happy birthday, but a special message specific to people. Tell, tell us why you do that and how you got started on this card program. Well, I kind of started because I wanted to encourage my daughter. I, I moved here in 2001, and I moved away from my daughter in South Florida. So I started sending her a card pretty much every day, every work day. I would take a 15-minute break, and I would write something on a card for her. Oh. She loved horses, and... Uh, of course, Ocala had lots of horse cards, yeah. so I would write a note inside those cards, and she loved that. And probably about uh, three years later, she got kind of tired of the repetition, <laughs> <laughs> and so I started veering toward uh, writing to friends and relatives and just other people in my life and began to connect with more people, and actually I found it to be a really good way to connect with people and to keep in touch, and also in my own personal life, it's a good way for me to pray for people and kind of understand what's going on in their life as I write to them and try to keep up with them, and I spend time even as I'm writing on a card praying for people I'm writing to. That's wonderful. By the way, writing on a card is a lost art. It, is. It, it really is, and I think that's what we're so impressed about. Every time, you know, if I, if I get a card from Ken, I mean, just with a smile, you could be having a horrible day, and there's just something about that handwritten note or that handwritten, you know, card. And, and Ken, the thing that, you know, Buddy and I want to do with this program is to encourage other people to do such things. You know, a lot of people, always, like myself, I have great intentions. You know, I'm going to sit down and write somebody, and, and, you know, and you don't, but you make the time to do it. How, how is it that you find time? Because you're doing a lot of cards. Well, I do a few things ahead of time. I do print labels for the people I send things to. Ah, so that helps. 
so I could stick a label on an envelope, stick a stamp on the envelope, stick my return address on there, and then I could stick that in the card, and I can carry that with me. If I'm at a doctor's office for a little bit of a wait, I can write on it. If I'm in just almost anywhere where I have a gap in time, I take advantage of that gap to actually write a note on the card. Where you probably see most people when they're at the doctor's office and everything, everybody's on their phone, right? Of course. They're always, you know, right there, you're you're taking the time to write your note. Because I see you've got your bag with you today, and yeah. why he was waiting on the show was over oh, there. Oh, he's on? Good out use card. of his time. But probably doing Mother's Day cards, were you? <laughs> right, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> wow, Mother's Day. Wow. About, how, about how many cards a month do you send out? Well, just birthdays and anniversaries, I can do as many as 50 in a month. But uh, Mother's Day, I'll be sending out specifically for Mother's Day probably 120. I think the post office ought to give an award. Find somebody stand. I know, right? <laughs> I, 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 if, if, if I wouldn't get caught, I'd almost give them a list of names and say, would you get in the cards off for me? <laughs> a couple of things, especially around Christmas time, if you could, like, write a <laughs> Okay, well, Will, another thing that we wanted to offer to you, we have a, a little trophy here. It's our Good Neighbor Award presented to Ken Dyke, and this only goes to people in the community who Special. do random acts of kindness for others. And you definitely fit this. If the shoe fits, Ken Dyke, you get to wear it. So Manual we State appreciate Farm. you. See the shoe? Everything nice. you do. Of course, everything right. Angie has has to have a shoe on it. I know you don't drink coffee, but you can have water or whatever it is. Fine. <laughs> Those are good. I use. I bring them to the board meeting all the time. But no, but it, it, it's 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 great. What you what you do, you know, like I said, it, it brings joy to people, and I, I know you're touching a lot of lives through what you do with your messages and such. So. Well, I'm really encouraging people. Thank you for coming aboard, and thank you for all you're doing in the community. We appreciate that, and uh, and and all the best to you in your venture. And and you're with a good guy if you're with Clint, so you're good there. So I think so too, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a break. Come back. We'll just get a minute from the whatever his title is, chairman, president, whatever of uh, Gerald Ergo, the film festival is here. And Angie, will you allow him to be on the air with you? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see if we can do that next right here on the Voice of Cal Downtown Live. And Cindy's Front Porch, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. Let's do the program on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. stiffness affect your everyday activities? If so, you may be interested in a research study for the treatment of pain associated with osteoarthritis. Rentstar Medical Research is conducting a research study of an investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 40 and 75 and who have been treated for the pain associated with osteoarthritis for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication. Compensation for time and travel will be provided. To learn more about this osteoarthritis study, please call Rinstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. Again, that's 352-629-5800. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala and Bellevue. Prestige, it's all there in our name. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. I'd like to invite you to stop by and see our new boutique area and meet our staff of professional stylists. Here at Hello Gorgeous, we are ready to update your look with the latest trends. It's the perfect time to brighten up your look. So make your appointment now for those highlights and Brazilian blowout. But don't stop there. We are a full service salon offering manicures, pedicures, and facials also. So if you've been searching for a salon to call 
your own, come and see us at Hello Gorgeous Salon. We are located at 48 South Magnolia Avenue in downtown Ocala, right next to the Marion Theater. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon at 351-5358. That's 351-5358. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. 351-5358. Hello, gorgeous got a garden and we've got a show for you called you've got a garden with your host master gardener carol ann baldwin carol ann answers your questions about your flowers your veggies your grass your trees even questions about your bugs and she's only on woca so don't miss carol ann baldwin and you've got a garden each tuesday from 9 a.m to 10 a.m right here on woca the source good credits bad credits it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. W-O-C-A. This is Tom Smith back in the WOCA studios with a quick 10-second update on the Masters. Ernie Els and Jordan Spieth tied atop the leaderboard at six under. Now back out to Buddy Martin at C- on Cindy's front porch at Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. All right, thanks very much, Tom Smith. We are here with Angie Lewis on the uh, front porch of Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood. Film Festival's underway, Summer Springs International Film Festival. Angie and I have been talking about it. i got a little secret for you. Somebody in this group did a little karaoke last night, and it wasn't Gerald Ergel who joined us on the that program, Gerald. Sure. Yeah, so you didn't make it down to, to Winters. Uh, Mavericks. Now called Mavericks. Mavericks, uh-huh. uh, yep, yep, uh, yep, Scott Ritter. Who, who was it? It was the building. Oh, wait a minute. It must have been Angie. It must, it must <laughs> be the person with the horse. Right, what would you sing? What did you sing? <laughs> I sing, Journeys Don't Stop Believing. Don't stop it. Don't yeah. stop All right. Stop. Yep. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be a fun song? That's a fun, you yeah. know, that's a fun song because I like to sing songs that everybody sings along with. Yeah. That way they're not really listening to me. Yeah. And it just gets everybody having a good time. That's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> He's a board member of the Service Springs International Film Festival. Gerald, terrific job by you and the team so far. Don't screw it up. Oh, we're, we're making every effort to, to not mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Last night had a great meal. Great the night. Mel, Mel, Melrose Blue Water Cafe. Oh, uh, the food was phenomenal. outstanding. Yeah. They do a they do a good job. Yeah. They, uh, Y'all had Blue Water Bay oh, last night. Yeah. Uh, Blue Water Bay. Yeah. I'm he, sorry. Does Man. Tremendous, he does tremendous amount of catering at the University of Florida. Yeah. Uh, most of the coaches use him, I think, for their their after game stuff and. Uh, He's just he's big in catering. He does a lot of good stuff. Tom reminds me, it's, it's at Blue Water Bay. Uh, Melrose Blue, Blue Water, Water Bay. Bay so yeah. it, sounds, it was terrific. And, of course, how do you feel about having the theater filled up when, when Cross Creek came on? That was extremely, extremely nice to see that. Yeah. And everyone had a good time. I mean, after after the movie, uh, you know, people stood around and they were talking. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you know, I, what I thought was really cool, and I called uh, Larry and Robin this morning. They were talking about mm-hmm. the last night. And uh, I called and, and told them what I thought was one of the coolest things was is that uh, Mr. Andrews, who had Andrews Bakery back in those mm-hmm. days, made those chocolate cakes that we saw the deer knock oh. off the table last oh, night. Oh, that's cool. And uh, I just thought that was oh, a lot wow. of That was oh, fun. Great. Yeah, that yeah. was just neat. Some people made that connection exactly, yeah. Angie. Yeah. That chocolate cake we saw. Yeah. And by the way, in that movie, they took some liberties. They brought it in the yearling into the theme of the Cross Creek. The Cross Creek was one book, the Ewing was another. Yeah. They kind of brought that in together. Which way did the better film? Yeah. Uh, uh, Angie and I agree, we thought it was really a wonderful film. Mm-hmm. And, and as she said, she, uh, just like me, we, we, we fell in love with it all over again last night watching it. What a great performance by Mary Stern. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, she did a great job. Yeah. And, and I hear that with her husband. For Academy, yeah. Peter she, well, no, the, the, her, well, I heard her husband, you know the scene where she walks up and she's just got there and she says, where, where can I get a taxi? And he's yeah. like, you, wanna, you need to go down to the hotel. Yeah. I heard that was her actual husband in that in that scene. Yeah, and it was actually Norton Baskin. Okay, yeah. yeah, right, I, yeah I, I met Norton Baskin. Yeah. We're out of time. And uh, another great night tonight. Some of the International Film Festival. Log on to springfestfest.com. Thanks, Gerald. Thank Angie. 
Thanks to all our guests today. Uh, we had earlier the Manhattan Film Festival. We're out of time. Stay tuned for Southern Fix again tonight. Coming up next right here on 13, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Soul. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. Hello, I'm Tom Schmitz, here to tell you about Okus, a great resource for any business and a proud partner of the CEP. Okus offers your business radically new technology called Next Generation Websites. Sites that do not wear out, they automatically adapt to new technology like smartphones, tablets, and the next big thing. Why pay for technology that starts becoming obsolete the moment you buy it? With Okus, there is so much more. Built into the Okus platform is an unmatched array of business solutions adaptable to any business. Okus is a superb Herb example that cutting edge technology can grow and prosper in Marion County. And I should know because they handle my website, ktforfun.com. Okus has assisted numerous companies in Marion County that have succeeded online. You can learn more by visiting them online at okus.com. That's O C O O S.com or drop by their downtown Ocala location at 116 South Magnolia Avenue. Find out how Okus can provide your business with everything you need to succeed online. If you've been hearing about the crowded Eat and Speech Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eat and Speech Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakewear sunsets. Eat and Speech Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakewear. Seating now available. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account, plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, 